Hello, my lovely friends. This is Tuesday, and I'm bringing you a layout from the scrapbookingstore.com. This is the last of the August kit, and I managed to get a lot of layouts done, but this one is just fun and simple and easy to do. I had challenged myself to use all of the buttons that were in the August kit and they had these really nice large pebbles buttons. So I had some scraps and I had some buttons and came up with an idea that I would punch out some circles that are between one inch and one and a half inch in varying sizes. Oh, actually one of them is a uh, half inch. So it goes from half inch all the way up to one and a half inch of using my scraps and just punching out some really cool little pinwheels and some stripes and just make my own little design. I, the, here is what I decided to do. I put uh, twine in every one of the remaining buttons and I decided I was going to make a layout that just had varying circles all over the page. I think the little teal sparkled enamel uh, brad that I took the back off of, there is the last one that I had left in the kit. And I was like, you know what? I see circles in my future. So circles it is. We're going to just have fun and sprinkle circles all over this page. I backed the photo with some, some of the scrap pieces of paper and this is a photo of myself and my ex-stepmom who effectively is my mother so she is a wonderful person that's been in my life since i was six years old and i'm very privileged to call her my mom and she had no children of her own but she helped raise my brother and i to a degree because you know my father had visitation and bless her heart, she just loved us to death. And then she actually adopted, once I was grown, she adopted two children, one from an orphanage in Russia and the other from um, a woman that could no longer care for her child. So she's pretty much a saint. <laughs> and I'm very fortunate to have her in my life. And so she keeps my family a little bigger than what it would be without her. So having her children and my children know each other and kind of the same age is pretty much a blessing. So I thought I would note our time for Mother's Day. We all got together and we went to a place where we could sit outside and we could visit and all chat and her little grandson could run around circles and we could chase him everywhere. <laughs> which is basically what we did while we visited. I did add a little bit of twine, not twine, um, thread up in the top there with that green button, but I ended up taking it off. It seemed like it stuck out a little bit at the end. So the twine, I keep saying twine, no. The thread that I added behind the left side of the photo remains. And I just tucked one of those little circles I punched out. I believe it is like one and a quarter inch. And I added one of the stickers from the sticker sheet. That sticker sheet is from Echo Park Good Day Sunshine. And the little camper is from that collection as well. I just fussy cut it and the watermelon out. But I'm gonna go back to the sticker sheet now and I'm gonna add some of the really cute little summer icons, the tent, and the ice cream cone and I didn't have a rhyme or reason I didn't have an idea of how I wanted this layout to come out I just had fun with it and it was fun I mean typically when I challenge myself to use a lot of one product I do clusters and on this case I just kind of sprinkled everywhere <laughs> And I like how it turned out. I grabbed a piece of white cardstock and just went to town. So it's fresh and clean. And I really have enjoyed using the kit like for the colors that it came with and having white as a background. Typically, not all of my backgrounds are white, 
but in this instance when you're talking about these bright beautiful colors I just wanted them to kind of pop off the page and I think I accomplished that by using white now I did add these little paper airplanes that I had fussy cow a fussy cow fussy cow really no fussy cut they were on the little bowl, well in the little bowl on my desk I guess I can't speak tonight I did have nine hours of training today so I'm a little tired but um, anyway I keep a little bowl by my desk and it's just full of bits and bobs that I throw in there and you never know when you're going to use one and I thought I needed just some little extra something and these little paper airplanes turned out perfect so I'm going to add a couple of those to the page you can see I did have some of the circles going off the page and I'm going to trim those off just so it looked continual throughout the layout instead of like a hard stop at the edge and the wagon rider is the sticker from the sticker sheet and I'm also going to add a fussy cut fresh squeezed lemonade stand I popped that up I did pop up the camper as well I'm not sure I mentioned that but since I had the buttons that were dimensional I thought that it would be good for me to pop up a couple of the icons as well and here I'm just adding the last of the I believe that's the last sticker I add and it is of the grill we were at a place that serves primarily burgers and things like that um, they have a turkey burger there that I will tolerate so <laughs> I did end up getting that but uh, I thought this sticker with the grill went perfectly since most of the uh, people there eat burgers and fries and all that kind of stuff. So I do end up journaling on the front of this page, believe it or not. I decided I was just going to go for it and accept it, even though I like my handwriting for whatever reason. I do not like it on the front of my layouts and I usually do it on the back on a journaling card but I was just in the mood to have fun and go for it and I said I'm gonna draw some lines here I'm gonna do my journaling on the front I used a try plus fine liner and my daughter got me those I believe I'm trying to remember the name of the company it's a nice um, company they they provide high-end products but I can't think of the name right now but I have several of their watercolors um, is it Spectrum Noir no it's not Spectrum Noir I can't think of it right now but these are fabulous for journaling and you can get a she got me a pack of 50 and I love this green color it matches the uh, buttons and the scraps perfectly and I'm proud of myself for journaling on the front you can also see I've got a new little bracelet there on my left my daughter my oldest daughter made that for me and I actually painted my nails with some glitter and I normally do not paint my nails because I'm always in a gym and it's gonna scrape off and my nails once you paint them it's like they just absorb whatever you put on them so things like Sally Hansen's nail growth oh my gosh that will stay on forever and so this glittery nail polish was pretty thick and it, it took some time to get it off and I ended up taking it off a few days later but it was fun while it lasted so <laughs> I'm just gonna notch out the bottom here I did add a little bit of the no yoking shimmers uh, that has been my go-to color for this particular kit and I'm going to just put a piece of that scrap behind the notch and that is going to finish out the layout I know it was quick and simple and fun and easy and that was kind of the intention so hopefully it inspired you to just go with the flow just if you want to challenge yourself and do random bits and bobs all over your page then grab a sheet of paper and have fun with it and that's exactly what happened here so I love the way it turned out um, I do have another layout coming very soon that is a scrapbook process video where I pulled from my current stash not necessarily older stash but new stash or newer I guess um, and then I also have an empty box series video coming for you 
very soon. And next I have uh, on the agenda a YouTube hop towards the end of September, but I'll give you more information on that as it gets closer. Um, I appreciate you watching, of course, I always do. And if you like this video, please thumbs up. It allows other people to find me because YouTube goes out into the world and says, hey, this girl gets lots of thumbs ups. So there's information on how to find scrapbooking.com in the description bar below. Ta-ta for now. Bye.